This is the interview position. It's a versatile position. You can use it 360 degrees. This is the outside snap. It's most effective in front and across your body. Vertical snap makes an effective block. The mid-interview position is a very effective, low-profile position to work with. The low interview position is especially good to keep a low profile and yet be ready for a sudden block when needed. The low interview position is also good if you want to execute a sudden trap and takedown. Drop the knife! Drop the knife, buddy! Told you to drop it. <laughs> drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Again, in the defensive position, we can use the baton from the ground, striking in a variety of angles and directions. Because the free hand position is transitional, it is also commonly used for escorts, it is commonly used for takedowns, and it can also be used in ground fighting. Nice. That's great. Okay. Yeah.
Yep. The free hand position can also be used to retain your firearm from a sudden grab from almost any direction. Okay, guys, we got one to cop. But they need to let me handle it. So, and when any time you see something, you just react. <laughs> In the takedown position, what I'm going to say is after you block some strikes, you still need, keep going, you need some other way to make this transition in, and I'm going to recommend digging it into the hip. Yeah, come on in. Our final position we're going through is the baton in the closed position. We can deal with retention issues and also using the baton as a closed object. For retention, it's very similar to the way we retain our firearm. We're going to scout up onto the baton scabbard, holding it there, maneuvering ourselves to take the person down. On the baton, you'll see the same thing, grabbing from under, securing that in. Okay. 